Could everyone please rise? I'd like to introduce you to the voice of Carteret. He's been doing the, the Pledge of Allegiance for the last two years, Jonathan Loza. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I would like to now turn it over to Mr. Jackson and Varsity Vocals. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light What so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming Whose bright stripes and bright stars through the bare brothers fight Oh, the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming And the rockets and the bombs burst in Mr. Jackson's varsity vocal will now do This Is Me.
I'm gonna send a flood, gonna drown them out. I am brave. I am rude. I am who I'm meant to be. This is me. Look out, cause you are Thank you, Varsity Vocals and Mr. Jackson. If you would just indulge me for one second while you're still standing. Uh, Carteret, and in particular Carteret High School, has been devastated this year with loss. Tremendous amount of loss. So at this time, I would like to have a moment of silence to remember all those loved ones, friends, classmates that we've lost this year. Thank you. Please be seated. Welcome to the Carter at High School Class of 29 graduation ceremony. I would like to thank and welcome Dr. Repolet, Commissioner of Education, Mrs. Diaz, Superintendent of Schools, Dr. Jones, Assistant Superintendent of Jones, Hector Barrios, Business Administrator, Marty Murray, President of Board of Education, Mrs. Susan Naples, President of the Council. Thank you, sorry. Fellow administrators, board members, faculty, staff, parents, family members of the graduates, and most important, the graduates of the class of 2019. I have planned for you five amazing speeches, two of which drew me to tears and another one moved me in a way I can't even tell you. So I really appreciate if everybody would take the time to really listen to the words and hopefully you find some words from our speakers that move you or touch you in a certain way. I do want to point out one thing and then you're done hearing from me for the night. We have 11 students from the class of 2019 that will represent us in the military after tonight. Will all 11 members please rise? And as you see, men and women. Thank you. Start off tonight, we're going to have a speech from our salutatorium, Ramjot K. Hall. Thank you to the board president, Marty Murray, superintendent, Mrs. Diaz, assistant superintendent, Dr. Jones, board members, administration, faculty, special guest speakers, parents, friends, and our fellow classmates, the class of 2019, for joining us here today as we close this chapter of our lives and start a new and fresh one. When we entered Carter High School for the first time, we were wide-eyed young kids, not sure of what was in store for us. But in the years we spent here, we grew up and we changed. When we started, figuring out how to get from point A to B was a struggle of its own. Four years later, I can say that I know the quickest and the slowest way to every possible destination. In the four years we have spent here, we have all gone through many changes, overcame many obstacles, and became the people we are. 
We have gained friends and lost others. We have made mistakes, made amends, and learned from them. Four years ago, I was nervous for everything and wasn't sure if I would be able to find something to do with my life. Now I know what I want to do and I'm more confident with my life choices. Thanks to our teachers who guided us to the right path and the parents who supported us and allowed us to follow our dreams, we are here today. When we leave here today, we only have our memories and experiences to take with us. We might never see some of the people here again, so I want to take this time to thank my friend from pre-K, Gurji, from middle school, Aman, my close high school friends, Afima, Jaspri, Jazri, and, Pro and Prabja, and all of those who made my high school life memorable and taught me valuable lessons that will stay with me for the rest of my life. When we start the next chapter of our lives, we're going to be those wide-eyed children once again, except we aren't going to be the same as before. We have our experiences and memories from Carter High School to guide us into making decisions that are best for us. All of us aspire to become different people and become successful in our own ways. Today marks the end of our lives as high school students and start of our lives as adults in this big world. Once we leave here, our mistakes are only ours and our achievements are only ours. I wish the best to all of us and hope that we all reach our goals in life and be happy. Thank you. Raman Call K. Hall, thank you very much. Now the valedictorian is the student who ended their career with the highest GPA in the high school and this year's, and there's a theme, Ms. Diaz, I know you're gonna like this, there's a theme, females. <laughs> okay, uh, Patricia Vitug, salutatory. Before beginning, I would like to thank several people who are in attendance today. The board president, Mr. Murray, superintendent, Mrs. Diaz, the assistant superintendent, Dr. Jones, our principal, Mr. Salvatore, the head of guidance, Mrs. Derulo, who is retiring and who we'd like to thank for everything she's done for the high school. I'd like to thank the rest of the administration, faculty and staff, especially my music teachers, Mr. Jackson and Dr. Bradley. I'd like to honor Ian Jacob, who is in all of our hearts this evening. Thank you to all of my family that is in attendance, and glory to God for bringing us here today. C.S. Lewis, the writer of children's book series Narnia, once said, there are far, far better things ahead than any we leave behind. To me, I really hope that whatever comes after high school is much better than what we leave behind. And to be honest, what we're leaving behind here in high school isn't so bad. Actually, the more I look back on these years, the fonder I become of our time here. Because what we have at this school is very special. High school was stressful, draining, and more often than not, so, so boring. You have all stayed up late to study for a test, or done homework the period before it was due, or checked the time repeatedly on your phone hoping a class would end faster. And that's what we focus on a lot of the time as students, how awful high school could be sometimes. In fact, we're often so focused on what makes high school suck that we often overlook what makes the four years in high school worth it. You have built relationships here, whether you realize it or not, that are so unique to your experience here. Relationships that have given you joy and have changed you for the better. The relationship you have with your classmate who lets you copy off your homework when they have a bad day. The relationship with your teammates you've been friends with since freshman year. The relationship you have with security guards who know you by name, or the relationship you have with the wonderful custodial staff, such as Miss Olga, who is always excited to see you. 
to the relationship you have with the teacher who lets you hang out in the room for hours at a time. This is what makes the past four years great. This is what makes the past four years worth it. You've also created memories and experiences here that will never be replicated ever again, but will live in your mind forever. Holding your breath at the award ceremony of a marching band competition. Hitting the last strike at a bowling match that seals the deal before becoming division champs. Playing a game on a brand new field for the first time. Flying down to Orlando to hear the name of your choir be announced for first place. Or even beating your own personal best at a track meet. Or even just the relief of passing a class you struggled through all semester. These are the memories that are irreplaceable. These are experiences that made your time here worth it. While looking back on high school, I hope you remember it made your time spent here worthwhile. So thank you to every part of high school that made my experience here something I will always love to look back on. When you reflect on high school, rejoice that you're moving on for the best truly is yet to come. But remember where you came from and look back on your roots in a positive light because they are what made you who you are today. Have joy in what you've gone through here and take pride in what you've become because of it. I am honored to represent the class of 2019 as your valedictorian. To my band and my choir, thank you for everything I am and everything I know. As I close, I can't help but think of the words written by author A.L. Milne, who once said, how lucky am I to have something that makes saying goodbye so hard? Thank you. Salutatorian Patricia D. Tug. Very nice job. Or valedictorian, oh my God. I am so sorry. And I should have told the two of you to wear sunglasses too, right? All right. Our next special guest speaker is a very special individual in so many ways. Carteret High School graduate, he stood on this field just like you did. He became the principal at Carteret High School, later on became the superintendent in Asbury Park, and now Carteret's own Dr. Ra L Lamont Repolette is now the New Jersey Commissioner of Education. Dr. Repolette. Thank you, Dave. Now, Dave doesn't know this, but I'm a little envious of Dave. For years as a high school principal, I was dying. Talk with Coach Yasko. Coach Dolan about being on this football field with the turf field. So today I'm back on this field in the turf. So thank you very much. And thank you for the mayor and city council and also the Board of Education for making that happen. So good afternoon, Rambler Nation. So I'm sorry, this, this is probably my seventh graduation. And this is special to me, so I'm going to start that over again because if you are a member of Carteret Nation, of Rambler Nation, I should expect to hear you yelling and screaming. So good afternoon. Good afternoon, Rambler Nation. Now that's, that's what I'm talking about. So before I begin, I'd like to acknowledge the members of Borough Council, School Board President Murray and members of the Carter Board of Education, Superintendent Diaz, Assistant Superintendent Jones. We also have our principal, Dave Salvatore, and his administrative team. We also have our third grade teacher and New Jersey's very own Milken Award winner, Nicole Silva. Now, that award is special, so I'm, I'm going to give another round of four. That's a, a national award given to the best educators in the country. And the only one in New Jersey to receive that was your teacher from Carteret, who happened to be a member of Rambler Nation. So give it up again for her. <laughs> However, I would be remiss not to single out my very good friend, Pat Derillo, and acknowledge her retirement. This is Pat's last graduation, and I want to thank her personally as the Commissioner of Education for her dedication, service to the students of Carteret High School in this community. Pat, you'll be missed by all, and enjoy your retirement. I even have a little gift from you, from me to you. Oh, there you go. The Department of Education, Hard Hat Nation.
So now to the class of 2019. Yes. Now, let me be honest. As a member of the class of 89, so that means 30 years ago, I was sitting in the exact seat that you were sitting, anxiously waiting for the time for them to call my name so I could move on to the next chapter of my life. However, as an adult, whenever I hear the word ramblers, it evokes raw emotions and fond memories of Royal Blue Nation with that fighting spirit. Now, there's a one particular song, the Darth Vader Death March, rings in my ear and the swell of pride fills my body. So Jack, I don't know if you can cue it up for me for a little bit, but it'd be nice if these individuals here can hear that song one more time as a member of Carteret High School. See, there's, there's something about that song. When I hear it, we talk about ramblers. And you guys have felt the sit in that seat. I know you're being cool right now. You're being calm because you're ready to graduate. But we, us, as ramblers, have always proved ourselves to the world, whether it be in the classroom, on the athletic fields, or in the community. However, this high school may be small in stature, but the people within these four walls have a lot of grit, determination, and perseverance. If you don't believe me, just count the number of championship rings we have. Count the number of tier one colleges we're attending. And also the commitment from our band is our award-winning choral band. That's an example of Carteret Makes the World Takes. You guys should clap for that. I'm told this senior class, the theme is what feel like the end, the end is often the beginning. As I reflect on the theme, I think of a scripture that should remind you that you are not alone and your steps have been ordered and it's now up to you to walk in your purpose. For I know the plans I have for you. They are the plans to give you a future and a hope. So the word trilogy is often referenced in a movie and movie titles such as Star Wars. Trilogy means a set of three related works, like a story, a series, a chapter. It's usually in sequential order. Today marks the end of your pre-K to 12 educational trilogy. Your salutatory and valedictorian talked about the wonder years, reflected on your time in high school. So if you look at the chapters, look at the elementary years. Remember the times you spent in, in Columbus School, Nathan Hell School, Menu School. You remember the fun you had? It was all carefree. You didn't have to worry about after school detention. You didn't have to worry about credit makeup, those things. And then you have chapter two, the awkward middle school years. That's when your voice starts changing. That's when you start to understand and see the world differently. And then you have your third chapter, your trilogy. And that's how it's high school, the high school years. So you're going to hear many times at a graduation, people are going to reflect on their time in high school. But also the anxiety of the future is what keeps them up at night. However, as you close this final chapter, think about the lessons learned. Think about the characters in your trilogy. How these main characters or, or, or subsequent characters made you feel. Or were you the hero in your own trilogy? Think about the times. Was it a horror? Was it a comedy? Was it a romantic comedy? Well, you know your trilogy better than anyone else. So I want you to take those lessons you learned in the last 12 years and apply them to good use. I urge you today to embrace the opportunities before you, leave behind what isn't helpful, and bring forward you with the lessons that will be the opening scene of your greatest trilogy. That's your life. That's the wonder years. So there's a quote that I always said when I was a principal at Carter High School, is thy themselves are makers of themselves. You are the master of your ship. 
You determine your fate. So however your next trilogy goes, make sure you are the star and the main attraction of your own trilogy. So class of 2019, let me put this in perspective. When you walk across this stage today on the turf and receive your high school diploma, you'll be joining a proud group of ramblers that have lived your life, had the same social and emotional ups and downs you've experienced as a high school student. You will be forever known as a graduate, as a Carteret High School alumni. So no matter where you are in life, where your journey takes you, You'll be linked to the class of 2019 and the past class of this great high school that we call CHS because you are and we are ramblers. I say that again because you are and we are ramblers. <laughs> class of 2019, President Barack Obama in his 2008 Democratic National Convention speech, he said, this is our moment, this is our time, our time to turn the page, our time to begin to bring new energy and new ideas to the challenges we face, our time to offer a new direction. So on behalf of the New Jersey Department of Education and my boss, Governor Murphy, I congratulate you. I look forward to reading your masterpiece ahead. Rambler Nation, congratulations. Thank you, Dr. Epaulette. You know, it was scary. 30 years ago, you, there's no way that that could be the case. But I, I looked it up because I was kind of hoping I graduated on June 1st because it would have been 40 years to the day that I sat. It was, it was grass back then, but it, I sat here too, 40 years to the day. And there's going to be a lot of people who come up here and is going to tell you that because there is Rambler pride. Our next guest speaker is also a Carter at High School graduate and a Milken Educator Award. It's a huge award. You don't apply for it. They find you. Third grade teacher, Nathan Hale School, Nicole Silva. Hi everybody, this is so amazing to be standing up here today in front of all of you on your graduation day. Uh, good evening, Commissioner of Education, Dr. Repolette, Superintendent Diaz, Assistant Superintendent Dr. Jones, Board of Education President Marty Murray, and board members, Mr. Salvatore, Carter at High School Administration, faculty, parents, and graduates. It's an unbelievable honor to be standing here in front of you today especially since some of you are my former students from Nathan Hale. Could anybody from Nathan Hale raise their hands? Who are my Nathan Hale graduates? Hi guys. I'm so proud of all of you, not just Nathan Hale, all of you graduates. It's hard to believe, like Dr. Replett said, I was actually sitting exactly where you were, but I was 18 years ago. No. <laughs> Uh, looking around, the only teacher who I had that is still here, and a few of them actually, Mr. J, Mr. Janicelli, Ms. Alcacid, and Mr. Dominguez. <laughs> um, so I remember sitting where you are now with butterflies in my stomach. I couldn't wait to start the next chapter in my life, and that's exactly what it is. It's an exciting new adventure in your own personal book. Whether you go to college like I did, Montclair State, <laughs> a trade school, it's your story to be told. It feels a little bittersweet though, right? This chapter of your life is over and you're venturing into the unknown. You're going to miss the friends that you've made and the times you've had here at Carter at High. You feel a sense of belonging to this ordinary brick building behind us. It holds a plethora of memory, both good and bad, I'm sure. You're accustomed to these streets and they emulate a sense of home to you. Now starting on your new journey, you might feel hesitant to get to know new streets and places. But at the same time, I'm sure you probably feel a sense of excitement to embark on new friendships and adventures and your future. This is a totally normal feeling, and I actually live this bittersweet feeling every year when my third graders go to fourth grade. 
Someone once said, be bold enough to use your voice, brave enough to listen to your heart, and strong enough to live the life you've always imagined. And that's what I've been doing each and every day. I never knew teaching to be one of those jobs where you get one of the biggest surprises of your life or get life-changing awards like on the Oscars. I didn't go into this profession for all of that. But in putting my heart into what I do each and every day and trying to make a difference for my tiny quarter of the world, someone noticed. One day at our school we had an assembly and out of the blue they were calling my name uh, and presenting me with the Melkin Educator Award. Still to this day, I cannot fathom that it was me who received this award. It wasn't like I was going out of my way to get noticed or anything. I was just doing what I thought every teacher did. I was making third grade as fun, as exciting as I could for my students. If you would have told me 18 years ago that I would be standing here in front of you, I wouldn't have believed you. If you would have told me I was going to be on TV and YouTube and being recognized for doing my job, I would not still have believed you. <laughs> Standing in front of a crowd like this is not something I ever imagined myself doing. And yet here I am today giving the honor of giving you this amazing speech on your graduation day. So choose a career path that makes you happy, something you have a passion for, because in doing so you can't help but shine. For the past 14 years I've been going into my own classroom every day and living out my dream. Ever since I was younger, I wanted to touch the lives of children and see that light bulb go off when a child learns something new. It is so true that if you love what you do, you'll never work a day in your life. And I didn't believe that until it happened to me. Um, has every day been sunshine and roses? No way. But that's what makes the journey so rewarding, the climb. Learning from your mistakes and use them to help you succeed. When times get tough, I always think of the song Titanium. Do any of you know that song? I'm criticized, but all your bullets ricochet. You shoot me down, but I get up. Ramblers, rise. And whatever isn't going to make you better in life, let it bounce off of you. Don't let it get into your core. This is how you'll live your best life. You never know what roads will take you. You never know what little path you'll unexpectedly follow that will lead you to something entirely wonderful and different than you ever experienced before. And the very best part is that all of this is waiting in front of you right now, at this exact moment in your lives. Looking out here, as cliche as this might sound, I see the next doctor who will perform a life-altering surgery, the future scientist who is going to create a cure for cancer, the next firefighter who will rescue a family from a burning building, the future computer programmer who will create the next big search engine, and who knows, maybe the next Milken Educator Award recipient. When I look out upon you graduates, I see such hope and promise. Always remember, no matter what you become, you are forever a Carterician, a Rambler, and there's only one place they call you one of their own. These are your streets, and yes, I'm quoting Bon Jovi, and you could always come home. Congratulations, class of 2019. <laughs> Thank you, Nicole Silva. We did something a little different this year, so uh, I, I really hope that this works out. The most important thing to me, and I tell your children this, is that this night goes well because it's a culmination of what they've done for the last four years. And I know you're, as parents are excited, I know they are excited, and I want this to go off perfect. So this year, what we've decided to do is we're going to have the valedictorian, salutatorian, read their own classmates' names. So I'd like to call up for the A through M valedictorian, Patricia Vitag. <laughs> Students, letters A through M, please rise. Thank you. 
Joseph Abadilla. Marielle Abreu Rodriguez. Mavia Asan. Josiah J. Allen. Jordan Almendares. Sammy Almendares. Frederick Almonte. David Alvarez. Madeline Chiniere Amari. Gianfranco D. Andrade Borja. Diana E. Aquino. Kevin A. Arayo Agredas. Jakari Armstrong. Layla M. Arvello. Barama Y. Asari. Mariam Ashfak. Razel Austin. Malachi Q. Averett. Harleen Cor Badwal. Keith Chase Baloro. Randy Batista. Jasmine S. Bauer. Stephen B. Bazaldua. Mehaline Bencosme. Jennifer Blanco Flores. Jaquis Africa Amon Bozeman. Shimon Bozeman. Natalia A. Boyce. Trinity M. Brake. Shanae Asher Brown. Shanice Melissa Brown. Yordi Bueno Guaba. Erin Calderon. Kayla M. Calixti. Victor Coppola. Alyssa Cardella. Braulio Cardenas. Darielle A. Carter. Lester J. Castillo. Marilyn E. Castillo. Jordi S. Castillo Flores. Crystal M. Castillo Oriana. Beyonce D. Castro. Christopher Alexis Castro. Jennifer Castro. Vivian J. Chavirea Aguirre. Juliana Chicolela. Nina I. Cieza. Brandon M. Schmiel. Andy Leandro Colado. Maya Milagros Contenia. Okay. Brian Crespo. Jordan Cruz. Sarai Cruz. Eliani L. Cruz Marte. Yarielis E. Cuevas. Jessica S. Davis. D'Angelo Delgado. Ivan Daniel Diaz Valverde. Ava Di Nicola. Damaris Dorvilma. Edward Duarte. Stanley S. Dulon. Uzoma C. Edo. Nada H. Elgazari. Timothy Ellis. Sadira N. Sanison. Maribel J. Escobar. DeAndre O'Brien Ewers. Spencer Edson Falbe. Janelli Febles. Joyce Leanne Feliciano Cruz. Miguel Fernandez. Anaya Noel Fletcher. Ariana Foster. Daniela Gallen. Daniel Wayne Gallagher. Francesca Garcia. Gabriel Garcia. Jan Carlos Garcia. Nicholas Alejandro Garolfo. Rafael Gomez. Olivia G. Grousen. Desiree Grulon. 
Jonathan J. Guash. Ikra Gul. Richard A. Guaz. Kwasim H. Hall. Euphemia Hana. Asia L. Harris. Destiny Harris. Jayla N. Harris. Sarah S. Hassan. James E. Henderson. Christian Hicks. Stephanie Ihar. Donald Hooks Jr. Sylvia Yvette Wadenu. Diona G. Hunter. Gabriella A. Ianazo. Ian Jacob. Mohanji S. Jandra. Marley S. Jean. Kiona B. Johnson. Lauren Ashley Jones. Brian Jorge. Tiffany A. Jovel. Amandeep Kaur. Amrit Kaur. Gurjeet Kaur. Gurjeet Kaur. Gurleen Kaur. Hernor Kaur. Jazri Kaur. Jasnina Kaur. Menterpt Kaur. Prabjat Kaur. Ramjat K. Kiha. Stefan Kelly Gordon. Nasir A. Kemp. Zoya B. Kangocha. Zoe M. Kangocha. Anaya L. Kenner. Haron Kenta. Fizan Khan. Tenzil Khan. Tamir J. Lamar. Ashley Lavin. Emmanuel Ledesma. Brian A. Lee. Yesenia B. Leon Tenepaguay. Angel Axel Laroe. Hector Linares. Jaspreet Lotia. Kevin S. London. Arielis Lopez. Joel Lopez Jr. Stephanie Max J. Lopez. Ubaldo Javier Lopez. Jonathan F. Loza. Melanie A. Luciano. Nicholas Lujan. Joseph Maldonado. Joshua T. Marion. Jonathan Marmol, Keyshawn Jamal Marshall, Charisma R. Martinez. Thank you, Patricia. We're getting pictures for everyone.
At this time, to the microphone, I would like to re-invite up salutatorian Ramanjot K. Hall. Students, from letter M to Z, please rise. You did that beautifully. Jacob R. Martinez, Mark A. Martinez, Nicole N. Maradia, Charles W. McGill, Anthony Medina, Sarah Madow. Sierra Mendoza, <laughs> Julius R. Marino, Renato A. Messias Gutierrez, Christian Meza, Juan D. Molina. Mark A. Morales, Milton Marino Galindo, Hamad Navid, Jalil Nix, Destiny Nicole Niels, Jonathan A. Narig. Joshua J. Nunes, Excel R. Nunes Rodriguez, Samantha M. O'Rourke, Chloe Obpias, Christina Veronica Oaks, Neka J. Onubo, Jacqueline J. Ortiz, Stephen Packard, Jimena Pais, Justin R. Palmer, Aman K. Parmar, Tony Parmar, Khadija R. Parrott, Joshua I. Polino, Jasmine I. Porta, Jose R. Pena. Samantha Pereira, David R. Perez, Christian A. Perez Barisino, Nafer Perez Mendoza, Samantha M. Pickering, Abigail Paul. Lindsay J. Polycarp, Corey Gregory Pope, Amaje Winter Pope Williams, John Portillo, Anthony Michael Power, Sebga F. Kureshi, Asama Raza, Brian Reynolds, Mariam Rizk, Alvina Rias, David C. Ridley, Clarissa E. Rios, okay. Inaya N. Rivera, Luis Pablo Rivera, Tiffany Marie Rivera, Adrian Rodriguez, 
Isaiah D. Rodriguez, Jaden Rodriguez, John J. Rodriguez, Justin Rodriguez, Mia Rosalia Romano, Andres Heli Romero Olivers, Brandy R. Rosero, Marcel G. Rosero Perez, George Rubinos, Vanessa Rubinos, Emily N. Ruiz. Miguel A. Ruiz, Daniel Savidra, Sukhpal Singh Sani, David Samu, Sapphire A. Santiago, Praise A. Satyagri. Tatiana Elizabeth Shometi, Malena Shiv, Abrar H. Sheikh, Taha Sheikh, Jessica Strinsky, Dennis J. Shop III, Hadia M. Sidhu. Victoria and Silva, Arshdeep Singh, Gurkir Singh, Gurpreet Singh, Harjot Singh, Harpreet Singh, Inderdeep Singh, Joshan D. Singh, Jaskaran Singh, Jaspri K. Singh, Gandeep Singh, Kanwar Deep Singh, Mankirat Singh, Pardeep Singh, Pawan Deep Singh, Robin Singh, Simranjit Singh, Sukhjot Singh, Christopher Ryan Skotek, Amrit Singh Sohal, Nesli Cindy Soto Velasquez, Brittany J. Spearman Williams, Laiba Sufyan, Alize Shante Torres, Melody Migdalia Valentin, Dulce Alexandra Vasallo, Alba Vasquez, Luis Vasquez Jr. Naraska L. Vasquez, Davy Ariel Vasquez Sambro, Elijah Villalongo, Justin G. Villegas Garcia, Patricia Rose Vitu, Ariana C. Weber. Amelia M. Williams, Jaheem K. Williams, Destiny Kade Wilson, Justin E. Yaku, 
Ariana Lucia Zavalos. Nishan Mailing Zink Herrera. John Estev Zumba Morocco. Ramanjot Kaul Hall, thank you very much for the reading of the names. While we're taking the final photographs of our graduating students as they sit, I would like to introduce the Wind Ensemble and Varsity Vocals. They will be performing the alma mater. You're, you're still waiting for... Patricia, who's at the end of the line, will be conducting this. Not only is she the valedictorian and a wonderful human being, but she, she's going to be conducting the next piece. Varsity vocals will be conducted by Lindsay Polycarp. Hey, if you want a job done, you give it to someone who's busy, right? Our alma mater. Please stand. Beautiful job. Lindsay Polycarp, Patricia Vitag, the band of varsity vocal. Please be seated. Now for really the only official thing of the night, the acceptance of the class. Mr. Murray, President of Corderet, uh, Mr. Murray as principal of Carteret High School, I certify the senior class has met all the requirements set forth by the Carteret Public Schools in the state of New Jersey for high school graduates.
All right, Mr. Salvatore, as president of the Carteret Board of Education, and on behalf of all the board members present here tonight, I accept these seniors to have met all the requirements and I hereby declare the class of 2019 to be graduates of Carteret High School. Congratulations. Now there's just one official piece of business left, and that will be the turning of the tassels. Christina Oates, please come to the stage. This is Carteret High School's elected class president, and she was elected by the class of 2019. Um, before I begin, I would like to present gifts to Ms. Caitley and Mrs. Tarabetsky from the class of 2019. Flowers, too. Good evening, Mrs. Diaz, Dr. Jones, Mr. Murray, Dr. Rappelette, Ms. Silva, Mr. Salvatore, Ms. Jones, Ms. Rosansky, Ms. Caitley, Mrs. Tarabetsky, board members, faculty, staff, parents, and most importantly, the class of 2019. I would like to begin by thanking all of you for making today possible and helping to shape us all into the individuals we are today. I would like to especially thank our parents and families for providing us the moral compass that will guide us the rest of our lives. I speak for each and every student graduating today when I say we thank you and we love you. I stand before you, the class of 2019, to celebrate the completion of our high school careers and mark the beginning of a new era in our lives. Class of 2019, we have been through it all. What other graduating class can say they had a fire drill at their senior dinner dance? It seems that we see, always receive the short end of the stick, rain the morning of graduation, test after test, change after change, and a new dress code every year. <laughs> I remember being so excited to finally to be able to wear my own clothes after so many years of attending private school, only to have my dreams crushed my freshman year. <laughs> also, who can forget how great of a combination of bad weather, rough waters, and a boat was the night of our junior prom. <laughs> Although, at the time, we may have thought of some of these events as obstacles, looking back as I stand before you today, I recognize it is what makes our class experience unique. It is inevitable that we will experience difficulties within our high school years, but despite all the negatives, the positive experiences and relationships will always all weigh out else. Seniors, some of you were a part of Carteret's first competition cheerleading team. Some of you have had the opportunity to play your hearts out in state championships and games. Some of you are a part of our award-winning choirs and drama club. Some of you have dedicated hours upon hours making music with an award-winning band. All of you, however, have made an impact in Carteret High School one way or another. Some of the friendships we have built here will truly last a lifetime. But as we look to this new chapter and see what comes after, we stand here at this time listening to my cheesy rhyme. Let us all take a second and remember the lesson. Time flies, and it's almost time to say our goodbyes. We remember those we've loved and lost, and how heavy the toll it has cost. Let us honor Ian Jacob, a student, a friend, a teammate. We all love you, and you know we are with us as, you, as we graduate. You'll always be in our hearts, even if we are physically apart. Class of 2019, I know you will all succeed. If you remember anything said from this day, I hope it's what I'm about to say. One day, you're 17, and you're planning for someday. And then, 
quietly, without ever really noticing, someday is today. And then someday is yesterday. And this is your life. Nathan Scott of One Tree Hill. I would like to thank each and every one of you for the opportunity to be your class president. I wish you all the best of, your, of luck in your future endeavors. On the count of three, class of 2019, I would like you to join me in turning your tassels from right to left. One, two, three. Congratulations, class of 2019. All right, congratulations, class of 2019. Dr. Bradley and the band will play us out. We're going to march back into the building. Parents, you're more than welcome to go out the gate and out front. They're going to go back to their class and get their diploma. Congratulations, everyone. <laughs>